And now he joins there us he is. live from the car. Jonesy, congratulations. <laughs> we are so happy for you. How excited are you to get to work? Uh, uh, thank you so much, guys. And I, I'm extremely excited to get started. I feel like it started today. That uh, press conference was something that was on my mind. Um, definitely thought a lot about it. And uh, I'm happy that it went as well as it did. I love the fact that all five of us were up there. Valerie Camillo's done an incredible job with this organization as far as the building goes, the business side of things. And I'm so grateful that she was there. Uh, Dan Hilford, he's done an incredible job of bringing us all together. And of course, Evan, Danny and Torts there with me really made it a real comfortable environment and made it a lot easier than it probably would have been if I was, if I was by myself. All right, Jonesy, let's get down to the nuts and bolts. How did this all come about? I mean, you're doing the games, you're TNT, you're doing the radio, you're all over the place. Like, how did I even have time to interview for this? How did this happen? Well, I was asked if I would be interested in doing that, you know, doing this job. And it took me about 10 seconds, and I was like, yes. And then the long process started, but I, I had one caveat. I did not want it to be public. I wanted it to be a privately done thing from my point of view because I've only done television to do television. I have not done it to advance and try to get a job that a lot of people have worked extremely hard at uh, to get in positions where they are presidents and general managers. I wanted to do my job and that was television. So if I didn't get it, I didn't want people to think I was one of those guys that just wanted a job doing it. I, I'm so happy that it's the Flyers. It's the only job that I ever would have considered because I love doing the job that I've been doing for so many years. So it was the one place that I would, would consider it. And uh, here we are today. Yeah, Jonesy, that kind of goes into my question. You've done broadcasting for so long, been one of the best at it for a long time. Has there been times in the past when you thought, or maybe not too seriously, but dreamed about doing something like this, or the, <clears throat> excuse me, this really come out of nowhere? This opportunity came out of nowhere. I, it has crossed my mind before, and uh, I always had a great relationship with Mr. Snyder, as most players do that played here in Philadelphia, or had. Um, I, I was one of the people that he would talk to if he was trying to, you know, make sure that his team was doing things right. He was very good at using all the assets that he had around him. And we had many, you know, private conversations that stayed between us. So I, I'm not shocked in the end, but uh, the timing of it was something that I was not expecting. And um, I'm just happy that the whole process is done. And now I can get started in the, this new venture. Well, you talk about the importance and how much you, you enjoyed that all five of you were up there together at the press conference today. Um, so what of your, I guess, preliminary conversations with the likes of John Tortorella and Daniel Briere as the general manager? What are those early conversations like? And, and what is your vision as a team uh, for the Flyers here moving forward? Yeah, the, the conversations have been really interesting, but not that often because this just happened. So... There's going to be a lot more conversations without question to try to make sure that we're, you know, getting all the information we need to have before we actually kind of unveil what our plan will be. There's no question we need to get better. There's no question we're going to have to rebuild what we have here uh, around what's here and find different ways to get our team competitive and not just competitive but a team that's going to be competing for the Stanley Cup we have a long way to go and I don't think that's lost on any of us uh, we all seem to have that common belief I think that's important and uh, when, when we're ready to start to you know take action we're gonna we're gonna do it the right way and make sure that uh, we all use our hockey minds to come up with the best strategy to get this job done so it's some of that is a work in progress Danny's been doing a lot of it already uh, and I'm just going to catch up with them as quickly as I can and do everything I can to help them get to the spot that we need to get to. Jonesy, uh, you played uh, part of your career with the Philadelphia Flyers. It was kind of the end of your career. Uh, I know 
that uh, you felt really a, a strong uh, kind of bond to the organization for kind of the way that they kind of uh, helped you at the end of your career. Just can you give me a little, maybe fill the viewers in on that, that they know you as a broadcaster. I'm old enough to remember you really as a player and a guy that was always in the battle. But what were those, that last time in your career like and your feelings about the Flyers and how valuable and how important they really were in your life? Yeah, when I retired, EJ, because of my knee injuries, yep. it was something that it was something that the Flyers really inherited. I was already recovering from injuries when I left Colorado, and I never really got back to 100%. So I had to abruptly end my career, and Mr. Snyder was the first person that called me to say, hey, we appreciate what you did here in the short time that you were here, and if there's something that you want to do to continue in this organization, we'll help you find that. Uh, the TV started right away, fortunately. And, um, you know, luckily I ended up getting better at it through the opportunity and through the reps that I was able to get when I was first started. Don't think I would have lasted if I had to, you know, start on a national set. Uh, was not ready for that. And obviously that takes time. But they gave me the chance and they have, you know, welcomed me with open arms from the time I arrived. And now it's time for me to give back. So the fans here in Philadelphia have been great to me, whether it's through the radio show that I was involved with, with Angelo Cataldi for the last 21 years, or all the Flyers games that I've been a part of for the last 23 years. The fans have always treated me well. And uh, it's, this is an opportunity for me to give something back and make sure I give everything I have to get their product back to where it should be. Uh, Jones, are you just mentioning how, how quickly this kind of came about, do they, are they very definitive on, with you on what your role is going to be and your responsibilities, or is this going to be more something that, that you get into the mix and you start working with everybody and then kind of figure out what it is that, that you're going to do and you're going to do best? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's pretty definitive. My, my job is to help Danny. I, I will be there for him uh, every step of the way. Uh, he is my number one priority. Uh, the rest is very important as well. The business side of things and making sure that uh, we're doing this together, the entire organization, making people feel good about the job that they're doing, re rewarding people, uh, reinforcing positive messaging throughout the entire organization, and continuing to build friendships with, with, within our team. We want people to leave our building or our our or our offices feeling great about what they've just done. And then when the team starts to win, that's really going to feel awesome. So that's that's a, a big part of what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I want our players to love playing here. I want them to make sure the word spreads that this is a great place to be. And when we're ready to recruit and bring players in later on, when we're in the right place, we want to make sure that the top players want to come play for us. Keith, uh, let me just ask you, I mean, just a little good news for you today. Cutter Gauthier, a flyer prospect, Boston College Eagle. He had a goal today for Team USA, so he's a bright prospect on the horizon down the road for the Flyers. But, uh, you know, you said when the right time comes, when you're in the right place to recruit people to come to Philly, I don't think they'll be that hard to do with you guys there and also the fact that it's a great place to play. But how far do you think you are from the right place? The, Dan, I think Danny said it really well today, EJ. The players will help us decide that. But where we're at now, we've got uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, we want to give our players the best chance to win, and the best chance to win the Stanley Cup. And in doing so, we're going to need to make some, you know, some adjustments to the way our team is. But everybody who's here right now is a member of the Philadelphia Flyers, and I'm not going to be on here saying uh, diminishing their worth. Well, they're gonna. They are very valuable people that we want to make sure know that we care about them. So I do know time that it's going to take. I do know we need to be patient. There's no question about that. Uh, but I want to make sure our players feel like we're going to give them every opportunity they can win as soon as they can. But at the same time, give the message to our fans that we know we have to do more. We know we have to make changes. We know we have to do a better job of getting the right players on the ice. Uh, still believing in a lot of what we have, but going out there and making the appropriate adjustments.